Now, for some of you, this may cheer you up. This may make you happy. But YouTube is blocking me. Banning me. Damaging the football terrorist community's ability to stay in contact with one another. Speak about football the way we do, interact with one another, challenge each other, which is really, really important. And I wanted to call this out because I don't know why it's happening. And I don't know why it's happening because it isn't that I'm doing something wrong and against their rules, because they would tell you. I am not using language. The titles that we use have actually been encouraged by YouTube directly. The thumbnails are encouraged by YouTube directly. It's their feedback to try this and change that. So we follow the rules and we follow the regulations. We have a high score when it comes to our, our record with them, our monetization record and everything else. And I get told by a lot of you all the time, Terry, I didn't get notifications. I didn't know you were live. I have bell notifications turned on, and we do. Just looking at that, that statistic right now, we currently have, and I quote what it says here, it's amazing. We have 82,000 people with all notifications turned on and enable YouTube notifications. 88,000 people, which is amazing. And we have 120,000 people that have just, just notifications turned on. Now, they tell you that they send out three notifications per day, maximum when you go live or when you release content. And in my humble opinion, sometimes I see that. Some of our numbers are absolutely amazing. I also understand that not everybody is interested in watching every single video we do. If you tune into a, a Man United match reaction and an Arsenal match reaction and a Chelsea match reaction over the weekend, you may not on a Monday evening tune into the top six show. That I all understand. But when I get sent messages and pictures by you all, there is something at play here. I've contacted YouTube, I've contacted Google, and it's predominantly bot answers. If it isn't bot answers, I'm just met with, no, there was no problem. Even though I send them through multiple screenshots that you're going to see on your screen now. The first one that I was sent by three or four different people on Sunday was they had to search for the football terrace after the Chelsea game. It was really hard to find that we were live. And even when they clicked on the video, they could see Mo, who hosted for us brilliantly on Sunday, but they couldn't hit like buttons. They couldn't subscribe. They couldn't become a member. And the comments were turned off. So the video was out there. But there was no way of interacting with it. Their advert still played, which is good for them and good for us, for the Sea of Conquest, whatever that game is. But the viewers couldn't interact in any way or any shape or in any form with the content, which is absolutely ridiculous that people have to go to that length when they have bell notifications turned on, when they're a subscriber, to find the live stream. It's absolutely crazy that they have to do that. Then I had people send me, they were on our page, on our page, and the live stream, we were live, but they couldn't see anything. It didn't even show it as a pending stream. And on Sunday, we had both the Chelsea and the Man United Liverpool game set up hours in advance, and they should be showing as pending streams. So YouTube isn't even telling some people that we're live when they clicked on our homepage on their phones. Then there was some that was a little similar. It didn't show on the homepage, but at least this time around, it was highlighted that we were live, as you can see here. So it told them we were live, but it didn't tell them what we were live doing. It didn't tell them what the show was, what was going on. They could click on that icon, though, and it would take them through. But most of them, again, said that the comments were turned off. So anybody at the weekend who had a problem with finding us being live didn't get a notification. When they eventually found a way of finding our stream, they couldn't interact, they couldn't comment, they couldn't hit the like button. And the frustrating thing is, is that the more comments you get, the more super chats you get, the more likes that you get, the better it is for your algorithm, the more you're pushed out, and the, the chances of your channel growing are higher. Now, I am very proud of what we have achieved on YouTube. I'm very proud of this community that we have built. 
we're not everybody's cup of tea, but I love you. Even my haters, I love you. You're a great part of what we do. But we should have the same rights as the bigger channels, as the conglomerates. That, In my personal opinion, you never suffer with this issue. In fact, I've done tests recently where I keep telling it to not recommend certain big channels. And I'm not talking independent YouTubers and small fry people like us. I'm talking about, it might be ESPN FC. About five times I've said, do not recommend me this channel. And they still keep putting their content in front of me. But yet my subscribers are asking for bell notifications. They're asking to be told every time I go live. They're searching for me. And there's so many times when I cannot be found. And sometimes I am found, but they can't even comment on the video why it's live. And this, for me, is absolutely horrendous. YouTube have got to do something about it. They didn't listen to my emails. They didn't listen to me trying to speak to them. So I thought I would talk to you all. I'm interested to see how many of you actually get to see this video. How many of your likes actually, how many of you can actually hit like buttons? How many of you do see it when it comes out? How many of the 120,000 people that have us on notification see this? Every single person who's got us on notification should receive a notification when this goes out. It is then their choice as to whether or not they want to click through on that video. It's absolutely up to them from that point. But if you're not being given that option, what's the point of us even asking people to subscribe? What is the point of us even asking people to do it? And that's why I always, I, I've stopped using it, but that's why I'm going to say again, in the description below is our Telegram group. I'm going to start using Telegram again to post all our live links so you don't miss anything. And that's all I think that's all I can really do is create an external um, sort of messaging board. And if you go to our I'll, I'll pin it to the live comments, the comment sections as well. If you go to that group, there's no it's admin only. No one can see your number. I will just post in all the links for the shows we're doing. I'm going to start doing that again as of after, after this video comes out. And look, as I said, I've got a good relationship, generally speaking, with YouTube. And I don't think this is necessarily maybe not a personal attack on me. No one's sitting again. Oh, Terry's got to go. I've done nothing wrong. But I think this is what they're doing to lots of small. And I am small in the grand scheme of things of YouTube. You know, there are, even in the football for YouTube world, there are lots of channels that are bigger. But I think it's the conglomerates and the giant accounts that get all the monopoly, that get none of the issues, and you don't get given a fair crack of the whip. You know? Don't get given a fair crack of the whip. And if they're doing it to me, they're doing it to somebody with 30,000 subs. If they're doing it to that person, they're doing it to somebody with 3,000 subs. The 3,000 sub person is only having 10 people notified that they've gone live and another 500 people, 1,000 people can't find them. It's ridiculous. We all need to be given the same opportunities to grow. And as I say, I love talking football on this platform. I love interacting with each and every single one of you. But I wanted to thank everybody for sending this through because I wouldn't have known. There's no data on this for me. So if any of you are experiencing these issues, please let us know. The weirdest thing is, none of my trolls ever seem to have these issues. <laughs> Which would be nice sometimes. But look, as I say, I, I, I will be remaining on, 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 on YouTube. We do have a, a, a Rumble channel that, that we have some bits and pieces that we do on that we might have to start using more if this continues. But for people to see that we're live but not know what the show is, for some people to not even know that the live show is happening, even when they're on our homepage. And for people to find us, but not be able to comment and not to be able to interact is an absolute, in my opinion, abomination. I'd love to get your views and opinions on this. Please hit the like button. Please leave your comments below to let us know what you think and you feel. And we'll catch up with you all again very, very soon. Thank you again to my community. You are simply the best, in my opinion. And I'll see you all again soon. Peace.